In this Blender tutorial, I will show you how I made two game assets, specifically a low poly bomb and gun in Blender. This was a request by Harsh. The sketches that I made are available for download if you want to follow along. The link is in the description. The keys I'm using are in the bottom right corner of the viewport. In order to use x-ray mode, I'll be bringing in the reference image as an empty. After bringing in the reference for the bomb, I add a cylinder and begin modeling the main body. I scale the body to the proper size. and apply the scale. In edit mode, I'll use extra loop cuts to refine the shape of the body. Select the bottom faces and separate them from the rest of the object. I extrude the new separated faces to form the bottom section of the bomb. and I use extra loop cuts to refine the shape of the bottom section of the bomb. I select the top faces and separate them from the rest of the object. I extrude the top faces to form the top of the bomb.
I use extra loop cuts to refine the shape of the top section of the bomb. I use a cube to make the top part of the fuse connection. And I use a bevel to add some roundness to the cube. I duplicate the cube and I use it for the other fuse connector. I duplicate this cube again for the larger section of the side fuse connector. I'll use the loop tools add-on to add a button to the side of this cube. I add some loop cuts. and then use the knife tool to add four faces to the circle. I can now use the loop tool to change these faces into a circle and extrude it. I can now add bevels to smooth the edges of the bomb. In object mode, I shade the bomb smooth and turn on auto smooth. I had a busy curve for the fuse.
In edit mode, I extrude and shape the curve into a fuse. I add some depth to the bevel. In object mode, I convert the curve to a mesh. And add a subdivision surface modifier. I shade the fuse smooth and turn on auto smooth. Since this is going to only be using flat colors for the shading, I'll just use the default UV map. I'll select all the UV islands and pack the islands. I then scale the islands down and move them so they are not touching one another. I then export the UVs. For the shading, I'll use very simple nodes with flat colors. I begin with the fuse, which will be a plastic material. I delete the BSDF shader and add a Fresnel, Diffuse, Glossy, and Mix shader with a dark gray color. I copy the nodes and add new material for the top section. Pasting the nodes onto the new material and changing the color. I duplicate these nodes and paste them as a new material for the bottom section, changing the color.
Now repeat this process for the fuse connectors. And then copying the nodes one more time, add a new material for the center section. Pasting the nodes onto the new material and changing the color. I join all the objects together and apply all the transforms. I move the origin to the bottom center of the bomb. In edit mode, I make sure the normals are facing the correct way by using the overlay option. I use shift N to make sure all the normals are facing the right way. In the image editor, I make a new UV for the baked materials. I add an image texture for the first material and open the new UV. I then copy and paste this node onto each individual material. I change to the cycles renderer. Under the Bake panel, I choose Diffuse for the Bake Type and uncheck Direct and Indirect because I don't want lighting to affect the bake. I then bake the materials and save the baked UV. And then bake the Glossy. I made a new collection for the gun. After bringing in the reference for the gun, I will add a cube for the body of the gun. In edit mode, I scale and move the faces to form the body. the chamber, I'll add a cylinder and scale it down. And in edit mode, I scale the cylinder to the proper size.
the site, I'll add a cube and scale it down. In any mode, I scale the cube to the proper size. and add a bevel to round out the right side of the site. For the stock, I will also be using a cube and scaling it down. In edit mode, I scale the cube to the proper size and add loop cuts and bevels to model the stock. For the barrel, I add a cylinder and scale it down. In edit mode, I scale the cylinder to the proper size. and inset the left faces to produce the smaller part of the barrel, deleting the innermost faces. I also extrude the faces to give the illusion of thickness. I add edge loops and extrude the faces to act as the rings around the barrel. For the fuel chamber, I'll add a cube, scale it down, in edit mode I scale the cube to the proper size and add a loop cut to model the fuel chamber.
I had loop cuts and extrude the faces to act as the ring around the fuel chamber. I had a cylinder for the circular part of the fuel chamber. and scale the face to make the multiple rings. For the grip, I add a cube and scale it down. In edit mode, I scale the cube to the proper size and add loop cuts and extrusions to model the grip. I add the needed faces and scale the grip. Add a cylinder for the circular part of the grip. Add a cube and scale it to the grip pieces, adding bevels to the ends. I then duplicate the cube to complete the grip. For the trigger, I'll add a cube and scale it down. In edit mode, I scale the cube to the proper size and add loop cuts and extrusions to model the trigger. I can now add bevels to smooth the edges of the gun.
In object mode, I shade the gun smooth and turn on auto smooth. Since this is going to only be using flat colors for the shading, I'll just use the default map. I select all the UV islands and pack the islands. I scale the islands down and move them so they're not touching one another. I then export the UVs. For the shading, I'll use very simple nodes of flat colors. I begin with the barrel, which will be a plastic material. I delete the BSDF shader and add a Fresnel, Diffuse, Glossy, and Mix shader with a dark blue color. I copy and paste the nodes for each of the other objects, changing the colors as needed. In the image editor, I make a new UV for the baked materials. I add an image texture for the first material and open the new UV. I then copy and paste this node onto each individual material. change to the cycles renderer. Under the bake panel, I choose diffuse for the bake type. I then bake the materials. I save the baked UV and bake the glossy. I set the origin to the center of the grip. If you have a request for a tutorial, a question, or a comment, feel free to leave a comment below the video. If you're interested in learning more, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.